Hello guys, welcome back. Another Somali heritage song. Let's go ahead and listen to this uh, song and we will come back. We have something to say. So without any further ado, let's just talk this. One, two, three. Okay, guys, that was a nice and beautiful, genuine classical Somali song. And I like it so much. And actually, I used to listen to this music, to this uh, song, long time ago from adolescence or childhood. So that's what I'm talking about. I spent some time with uh, Southern uh, Arabia, Saudi Arabia, Southern Peninsula, Arabian Peninsula, like Yemen, like Oman, like Al uh, uh, Emirat, and also the Horn of Africa, Djibouti, uh, the Afar people in Djibouti, and then also in the uh, some little bit Eritrean uh, heritage musical, uh, classical music and heritage, and no doubt the Somalian beautiful uh, music. Because this region, the Southern Arabia and the Horn of Africa, might be one of the most little pl places that were left from the effect that happens from the occupation of the Turkish people, the Uthmaniyin, and also the effect of the Persian people, those Iranian uh, people, whatever it was. Uh, but it was big effect on the heritage, on the, on the culture, on the music. So if you can, for example, uh, see some of the music of Egyptian music or even North Saudi Arabia, but it's very little on the on the in the Gulf countries, you will find the effect of the of the Turkish music, whatever it was, or the Turkish nation, the effect of them, their culture, heritage on the on our culture. The only thing left is Yemen, southern Saudi Arabia, and parts of uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, Emirates, Oman, and Bahrain, and those uh, Gulf countries. Of course, the Horn of Africa, Somalia, and Djibouti in particular. So, what I'm saying is that the heritage 
and the classical music is the identity of people of any nation is considered as the memory of those people and this nation. It is very important and very, very, very expensive and something really valuable, so much valuable. So what I'm saying is that it is better for any nation to preserve their heritage and preserve their identity, therefore, because otherwise it's going to be lost. The bad thing actually happens when the new generation who's supposed to carry out the, the, the heritage of the people and this uh, memory of the people and this identity of the nation themselves that they are actually emerged from. Unfortunately, they are losing this and they are imitating others. All right. No problem when you imitate others or adapt some other uh, cultures, uh, music. It's okay. But the problem is that you replace it instead of your heritage and your beautiful culture for one simple reason. Why it is important? Because actually it expresses people themselves. It actually represents the, the, the culture, represents the identity. That's why it is so important. Now let me tell you something, guys. Let me tell you something. Who is that person who doesn't love himself? Any, any one of us actually love himself and love his memories and love his origin. We love our origin as people from Arabia. We love it so much. I love my origin as a person who lived in Faifa and I have an origin from Faifa, which is in Saudi Arabia. Or let me say on the Arabi Peninsula. So anything which can distort that thing for me, I don't like it. That's why I'm talking about the valuability, the, 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 the much actually uh, value of the uh, classical music the identity, the identity of a, a people in some particular place. Unfortunately, some other uh, viewers, they misunderstood this. They uh, did not understand why I am uh, supporting the Somali music. I'm supporting the Somali music. I'm supporting the Yemeni music. I'm supporting the Omani music and any other nation. And thus, this region is very valuable to me because I consider it one of my own memories when I was a child. You know what I'm saying? It relates to me so much. It's part of me. That's why it's very important to me. And I don't mind to be open to other cultures and other heritage and other traditional uh, uh, customs from other nations, like, for example, in the Far East, on the Far West, whatever it was, even from the Inuit. If you know what the Inuit people are, they are living in Greenland. They are living in the northern pole of this earth. Sometimes they are called Eskimo people anyway, so I don't mind. To be open to any culture is something good, but I really value my culture, I really value my past, I really value my memory, I really value my heritage. So that's the point, guys. Anyway, thank you very much. I hope you like this beautiful song. Just write in the comments. And I would like to thank the Somali people for uh, 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 subscribing to this channel, supporting this, this channel, liking, sharing, and these things. That's something good from you guys. They, 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 so many people are nice people, actually, uh, and generous people at the same time, because this channel is not for money. I don't want money from YouTube. This channel is for the benefit of the people. This channel is supporting the originality. This channel is supporting uh, technical information. This channel is supporting anything can benefit the human being, wherever he was. Thank you very much, and see you in the next episode.